Hello and welcome to an Envato Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Pordila and in today's video you'll learn about Jetpack for WordPress. What it is, uh, how to get started with it and why you should use it. So let's begin. Jetpack is this awesome free plugin that can help you keep your site secure, uh, make it faster, and also grow your audience. Now, this is made by Automatic, which is the same company that created WordPress.com. So just by that fact alone, you can see that this is a really good product. And it's gonna continue to be a really good product because it's gonna constantly be updated and tested and developed and so on. Now, the cool thing about this plugin is that you can install it on your WordPress website and then you can use it to connect to your WordPress.com account. And by doing that, you have a central place where you can manage all of your WordPress accounts, which is pretty cool. Now, I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. But for now, let's talk about pricing because in the introduction, I said this is a free plugin, and it's true. It does have a free version, but it also has other pricing tiers. So the free version has a basic set of features, but if you want more features, you would go for personal, premium, or professional. And you can see all of those features right here in the pricing page at jetpack.com slash pricing. And this is actually a really good place to learn about Jetpack and what it's doing just by looking at its features. So in the free version, for example, we have downtime monitoring, which means if your website will ever go down, you'll get a notification about that. It has protection against brute force attacks or when hackers are trying to break in to your WordPress site you're protected with this. You get some activity logs. You get a CDN for your images, which is huge for performance. Lazy loading images, same thing. You also get some uh, site statistics like number of visitors. You can connect your social media accounts for automated posting and much more. Then you can see that for each uh, plan, you get some more advanced features like daily backups, spam protection, site monetization, and so on. But by default, the free version of the plugin is more than enough to give your website a big boost. Now, to get everything working, we need to create a WordPress.com account. And that will allow us to connect our WordPress website with that account. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so let's start by creating a WordPress.com account. For that, let's go to WordPress.com. And if you already have an account, just simply click Login. Or if you don't, hit Get Started. This will basically ask you for your email address, and then you would set a username and password and you would just follow the instructions there. Personally, I already have an, a WordPress.com account. So what I'm gonna do is log in and I'm gonna hit continue with Google, select my uh, Gmail address and now I'm logged in to WordPress.com. Now, the next step is to install Jetpack on the WordPress website we wanna connect to this account. And here I have a WordPress installation on my domain, adipurdila.design. Uh, this is a new domain, so I don't actually have a website on it. As you can see, it's just uh, the, the default theme on there. But this is a live website, and I think it's a great opportunity to uh, demonstrate how this works. So to install it, Go to Plugins, Add New, and on the second row here, 
you can find Jetpack by WordPress.com. So let's go ahead and install it. And while that's installing, I want to quickly mention that you can download standalone apps for WordPress.com. You can grab mobile apps for your mobile device or desktop apps for macOS, Linux, or Windows. So I have uh, the Windows app installed here, as you can see, and this is an exact replica of what you would get from the web app. But it's a little bit more convenient because it's installed directly uh, on your system. All right, so with that out of the way, uh, our plugin has been installed. Let's activate it. And now with the plugin active, we need to set it up. So click set up Jetpack. Next, uh, it detected that I'm logged in with this account. So I'm gonna hit approve. Next, it's gonna ask you to explore or to pick a uh, plan for Jetpack. Uh, in my case, I'm just gonna select start with free and you're pretty much done. Now, this will prompt you to activate a feature called Jetpack Site Accelerator. This will load page faster, optimize images, and uh, serve the, uh, the assets like images and CSS and JavaScript from a CDN, or Content Delivery Network, which is fantastic. And you can go ahead and activate that if you want. Uh, for me, I'm just going to uh, keep it like that for now. Uh, because I want to show you what you can do with uh, with Jetpack. So now, if we go back to WordPress.com and we click on My Site, uh, by default, it's going to open up this uh, other test website that I've created. But if you want to switch it, you just click here and you can select this one that I've just added. So right from the beginning, it tells me the stats and insights. Of course, I've just added uh, Jetpack to this website, so there is no uh, activity just yet. But then you can go to site and you have access to the pages, the posts, the media that's uploaded, comments, feedback, and then you have access to the customizer. You can pick the theme that you want to use. So basically, you can do exactly the same things that you can do from your normal WordPress dashboard, but now you can do them from a centralized place, which is pretty cool. So for example, if I want to add a new post, I can either log into my normal WordPress backend on my website and go to posts add new or i can go to my wordpress.com account select my website go to posts and add new post and that's going to allow me to create a new post and i can save a draft and then if i go back to my wordpress backend under posts you can see that that draft now appears here. So that's pretty cool. Now, there are a lot of settings that you can um, change from here. So let's scroll down to manage settings. And the free version gives you access to general settings, security, performance, writing, and discussion. So let's briefly go through each one and see what you can change from here. You can change the site icon, title, tagline, the usual stuff, the language, time zone, and the privacy of your website. Under security, and this is really cool, you can check this box to get alerts if your site goes offline. And also, when it's back up, it's gonna notify you as well. And here you can change where you want those notifications sent. Here you can choose to prevent brute force login attacks. And a brute force attack is basically when 
uh, hackers are trying to log in by using a lot of uh, combinations of username and password. And if you don't want that to happen, you can check this little box. It's great for the uh, security of, uh, of your website. Uh, the next section, anti-spam, is only available starting Jetpack Personal. Uh, this basically removes spam from comments and contact forms. And finally, here you have the option to allow uh, users to log into your website using their WordPress.com accounts. This, it really is really up to you. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but if you want to allow people to do that, it's your option. You can uh, uh, check these boxes uh, if you want that to, uh, to happen. The next group of settings is for performance, and this is actually pretty cool. Here, you can enable something called Site Accelerator, and this will basically optimize your images and also serve all your images and static files from a CDN. This will reduce the strain on your server and it's gonna result in faster load times. Also, lazy loading images. This is a really good practice for improving website performance. Basically, lazy loading means that images will not be loaded unless they're in the viewport or they will be in the viewport soon. So for example, if I had an image right here at the bottom of the page and I don't see it when my page loads for the first time, that image will not be loaded until I scroll down to it. And this uh, saves a huge amount of uh, resources on, uh, on your server. So highly recommend you, uh, you check this. Next up, we have some settings for writing. And here you can basically see how many categories and tags you have and uh, define some uh, properties for the posts, like the format. Uh, if you wanna use the latex markup language to write equations, you can do that here. Uh, you can uh, choose to enable shortcode embeds, but by default, WordPress does that already pretty well, so um, you don't necessarily have to uh, check this. And then you have the option to create some pretty cool slideshows when you're using image galleries. Now to quickly uh, demonstrate that, let me create a post in, uh, in WordPress. Let's open up this test post actually. And what I'm gonna do is just um, uh, add some images. I'm gonna choose gallery. And uh, unfortunately, you can't see the icons here. There's a weird glitch uh, with, uh, with my website here. It doesn't show me the, uh, the icons in the back end. But um, I'm gonna try and uh, <laughs> make this work for you. And these are just two images that I got from, uh, from Unsplash. And then I'm actually gonna select these images and I'm gonna select link to the media file for both of them. So let's hit update and let's view our post. So now when we click this image, it just takes us to this page where we can see the image in full, right? Now, if I go back and I check this box that says transform standard image gallery into full screen slideshows. Uh, and I now go back. You'll see that when I click this image, it created this really beautiful slideshow for me, which is great. I can even control it with my keyboard. And this saves you from installing a dedicated plugin that, uh, that will do this for you. Very cool. All right, now let's quickly go over the, uh, the other settings. Here you can basically uh, choose how many blog posts to display per page. Uh, these are settings that you can control from the back end, so they're not that important. Uh, here you have the option to display testimonials or portfolio projects, and these can work, but they're pretty limited. So personally, I would install a separate plugin for these. But if you don't want to do that and you just want something simple, then just check this. 
And now, over here on the site, you have access to testimonials. And you have the same thing from your WordPress uh, normal backend, right? Testimonials. And you can add testimonials and you can then load them into any page you want via shortcode. And you can do the same for portfolio uh, projects. For now, I'm going to check this off. Uh, what else? You have some theme enhancements like infinite scroll, and that allows you to just load new posts as you scroll down the index page. Pretty cool. Now you have some options for widgets, uh, and you can also uh, publish posts by sending an email to a specific email address. I've never actually used this functionality, but it's there uh, if uh, you want it. WordPress.com toolbar. Uh, this basically replaces this default toolbar that you see here. Let me show you what that looks like. There we go. So this is the, uh, the WordPress.com toolbar. Personally, I actually prefer the, um, the usual toolbar from WordPress. All right, next, uh, the final um, section here for discussion. Uh, you have some um, enhancements to how the comment system work. So if you check this bit, you can allow visitors to use any of these accounts to comment, which is pretty cool. And the rest are just uh, settings for comments for discussion that uh, uh, you can find on the um, on the usual settings page with some uh, with some extras, which I'm not gonna go over right now. But essentially, these are the settings and some of the new features that you can get by using Jetpack. Now, the settings that I showed you apply to the free plan. And as we were going through, you saw some of them, like for example, anti-spam, that was not part of the free plan, right? So this is part of the Jetpack personal. Under performance, uh, you can add Jetpack search, which is also um, part of a premium plan. And also with Jetpack premium, you get uh, high resolution video hosting on your site, which is pretty cool. But if you wanna see the full list of features and the prices for other plans, you can go to plan here or jetpack.com and uh, go to the pricing page there. As I was saying in the beginning, I recommend you start with a free plan because that gives you pretty much all the tools you need uh, to uh, to get benefits from this uh, plugin. But if you want more complex stuff like daily malware scanning or real-time backups or daily backups, then you could uh, go for one of the premium plans. All right, and that's how you can get started with Jetpack for WordPress. And in this video, uh, you also learned a couple of reasons why it's uh, beneficial for you if you use uh, this plugin, mainly performance and security. So hopefully it was a uh, useful uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'm Andy Portvila, and until next time, take care.